Today on The Hobby Grotto, we're looking at six essential items to get you basing those miniatures. Having the right kind of glue for basing is incredibly important, and what you're gonna need is both PVA, also known as wood or Elmer's glue, as well as super glue to cover all your basing requirements. PVA is your workhorse. It's less wasteful for larger surfaces and has a longer work time, but super glue is also important for things like rocks and other basing bits that need a bit more hold. Basing is hard on brushes, and you don't wanna be using your good ones on this sandpaper-like surface or in this glue. Cheap craft store brushes, as well as older miniature brushes retired from active service are great in this role. While there are lots of texture paints available these days, you can't beat the simplicity of sand for basing. You can have all different varieties for different jobs, and it's incredibly inexpensive. You can even just grab your own from the beach. My personal favorite is a mix of sand and slightly larger gravel to give a bit more visual interest to the base. And always remember when using sand and rocks to go over everything with some watered down PVA glue once you're done to seal it and stop bits coming off. I think cork needed its own section because it's just so good as a basing material. Thin sheeting is super cheap and it looks great scale wise on bases with its texture. It's easy to work with and you can make levels or use larger chunks of cork for bigger basing ideas, very handy. Whether you prefer it in tubs or tufts, static grass is a fantastic and easy way to add some flair to your bases. Apply it with PVA glue and leave it for a couple of hours before tapping off the excess. It comes in any colour you could imagine, so you can really find something appropriate for your bases, and it's so simple to apply for great effects. How can we forget about paints? Clearly the most important stage in the process. The key is to have at least a good brown and grey to keep your bases looking consistent. Some of my personal picks from the Citadel range are Rhinox Hide with a dry brush of Sylvaneth Bark, or for a classic neutral grey base, Dawnstone dry brush with Administratum Grey works a treat. So there you have it, six essential basing supplies. Make sure to check out some of my other videos to see these techniques in action, and as always, thanks so much for watching.